So the, this is called an open buffering system. Whether in the classroom or the lab, Rick McDonald finds a way to help students succeed. He's always going one step further to make sure you understand why you're doing the things that you do, which kind of empowers you to become independent, to let you troubleshoot, to kind of build on that knowledge so that you need his help less and less. McDonald tailors his approach to the individual student, but his goal is to help both graduate students and medical students become experts in the art of inquiry. You must train them to find their own information and, and come up with their own answers. You can't give them all the answers because we don't know what the questions are yet. As a mentor, McDonald finds ways to encourage and support his students. Chris Connolly remembers turning to McDonald for help adjusting to graduate school. And so he was really good at looking at my learning style and, and asking me questions and assigning me things that would help me progress. I've had uh, several students who've told me that they, trans they got through a very rough patch with my help and that's, uh, that's really um, rewarding for me. McDonald has also been instrumental in developing and tweaking the curriculum to ensure students keep up with new knowledge while still learning the fundamentals. This is total dedication to, to improve the system without gaining much for himself. It's, it's the education for him that's the priority. McDonald's ability to juggle teaching, research and service is an inspiration to students like Faisal Ahmed, who is also class president and a student regent. He does so much on campus that um, uh, he wears so many hats, but yet he still finds time to, to talk to students. Students will always remember the intense pressure of graduate or medical school, but they also remember the relationships that help them keep going. McDonald says those relationships are critical. I had no training in education when I first arrived here, and I've learned from my colleagues. That's the thing, you talk about me mentoring students people mentored me or I wouldn't be here talking to you.